energy vibration um, a reading for the the Leo Sun Moon horizon I want to say thank you for being here thank you for being back it is the first week of February 2018 the week is a fire week with a, a zodiac energy of the hair um, this is a wonderful week for you Taurus is because it's the energy of the tower so this is going to help you the week begin from the 29th until the fourth let's see for you Leah's what is here on Monday and yeah these are strange cards I really have to put my glasses on um, we have the five of swords in reverse so whatever the conflicts was last week it's coming to an end um, you haven't win this battle but yet still um, you are moving forward okay we don't have to win all the battles but we can move forward on Tuesday you have temperance temperance seems to be coming up for a lot of people so you need to learn to temper yourself the learn to have patience, learn to understand what is transpiring around you and accept certain changes then you have the energy of the four of ones a strong foundation so this is good to have the four of ones because um, not many signs have the four of ones then we have on Thursday the night of chalice the night of chalice is coming on Thursday so the night of chalice is someone between the ages of 25 and 45 that is in water and 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 fit and and uh, Pisces a cancer or a scorpion and this is going to be um, good because you have a, a very strong balance against this person then we have the energy of the five of ones in the reverse so whatever um, that was transpiring with you losing the battle you're losing the battle but yet still um, you know you're you're letting things go and you're ending the conflict okay and you're having a temperance and balance on Saturday and you have the Knight of Swords on Saturday um, whatever the situation is you have the Knight of Swords not a really nice person this person <laughs> is coming to cut away the dead branches with his swords and on Sunday you have the three of swords in reverse so you are not really feeling a loss with this man whoever he is he can cut come and use his swords and cut but that is this is just not going to um, um, have any effect on you and then you have the king of swords in reverse you have to be careful with this king of swords in reverse because he can be very very horrible when he is in the reverse form there is a transformation that is going to take place this week and this transformation is going to be good so it is a feminine now is um, the same feminine and masculine week is a balanced week of femininity and masculinity and this week is calling for um, there is change it is not calling for changes there is going to be changes the night of chalice is is moving forward but you are standing strong and you know you are just you know being there and standing strong and uh, um, this conflicts with you and this night of chalice is over and there is coming in someone and you know someone who is either listening or um, making mischief or that sort of a thing and you are not going to be heartbroken anymore you are thinking you know um, what comes around come what goes around comes around okay you have the energy of the king of cups so you have the knight of cups and the king of cups so with the energy of the knight of cup and the king of cups there was um, a situation where there was conflicts between you and the king of cups and you're now putting it to rest and you are balancing out the situation and you're now putting it to rest okay then we have the energy of the four of um, Pentacles come back up again so your financial situation is going to be good 
um, whatever the situation is not to worry because the king of cups is going to come in and help you with that situation then we have the king of swords twice in reverse this is good this is good having this person twice in reverse that means that this person has absolutely no effect on you because what is happening is that um, with the four of wands the strong foundation you are not really feeling a loss about something because the king of sword was there trying to do something but it's not happening it's as if uh, his power is now taken away and the knight of chalice is moving forward so let's see what was the conflicts and why was there temperance with the king of cups the energy of the world comes out and there is an ending and something a new beginning is going to be coming in as we look at the temperance and the four of ones together there is going to be happiness and joy together um, you know the energy of the world and the nine of cups your wishes and dreams are going to be coming through in this week and then you have the energy of whatever because um, the three of swords is here twice in your reading and the king of swords is in the reverse form which this person really whoever this person is um, over the leaf uh, over the age of 40 and is and it Aries, no, an Aquarius, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, and no, an, Aqu an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, they have no effect on you anymore. And this is good because he's here twice in reverse. This is a, one of the first time that I've had so much reverse cards. Um, the Three of Swords, you have no sorrow, absolutely no sorrow. You 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 know whatever is happening you have no sorrows and um, if this is good because you are just accepting things as it is and move on you have the queen the eye princess comes in which is wonderful and um, the energy of the king of cups bringing in the eye princess it is going to be a wonderful positive energy whatever the situation is it's going to be very good because you're listening to your spirit guides and you're moving on and the last energy is the two of pentacles in reverse so not to worry about what is happening um sometimes you know it there is a thing that sometimes you don't have money but you have friends and what this is saying is that there is just these two energies the world and the happiness together and you are not um, sad about anything um, it's the end of a situation you are understanding that uh, um, the conflicts is now and that conflicts has now ended and now you're thinking and you know let me see what is my next move what is my next step I'm moving forward I'm letting this go and I'm understanding that these things really do happen but I am letting it go because I'm listening to my intuition and guidance and it's bringing me to some positive situation in my life where I am going to be um, feeling um, wonderful new positive energies coming in and understanding how valuable and how happy this is so um, whatever um, that has transpired know that you will be okay okay um, with discipline um, with discipline you are going to be um, okay because you're going to be taking the higher road with a lot of stuff in your life because you have realized how um, people and situation are and you are um, growing stronger and stronger every day to understand that don't expect anything and don't expect much in life from people because um, people are people and uh, whoever you are you're there there is not going to be someone else who is like you and uh, you just need to go with the flow and kind of figure out your way and move forward okay you have the energy of in passy in passy you're gonna open up and find that um, passion about you and going to feel that passion about you and have that understanding about you and that impasse of yourself is going to be coming up and this is one of the most beautiful energy because it's the energy the orange energy so call upon 
um, Archangel Metatron to place the orange coat of protection. Just say, um, I now invoke Archangel Metatron to place the orange coat of protection over me, okay? And um, savor the self and the understanding of whatever that transpires in your life. As we move forward, there is the energy of confusion that is coming up. Um, confusion that is coming up in uh, in the um, in the future, and this confusion is has to do that this person is uh, um, a confusion with your soulmate because, as I said, there's a lot of people who are going to be having the soulmate relationship in this year, and there's going to be sorry a lot of confusion that is going around and you're not understanding certain things and certain things is not clear and not to worry about it basically don't worry about it because uh, a lot of people have confusion and whenever the time is right uh, ask Archangel Gabriel and the angels for clarity as to a situation and I guess you did some of you did ask for clarity about the situation and the situation has uh, shown clarity to it and uh, you know understand this take this and um, just take the lesson out of what has transpired and how are you going to make it better in the in the in the future and this is going to be good I want to say to each and every person remember the number three is going to be your energy vibration because um, it's as if the ascendance masters and angels want to, you to connect with them and then this is going to be a very wonderful time okay namaste until next week